Well, praise the Lord. I'm glad to be back with you as we continue these lessons on health and a cure. And uh, I'm excited about today's message because somebody is going to receive the word of the Lord and they're going to receive the blessing of the Lord. And if you need a healing in your body, I'm going to pray for you at the conclusion of this video. And God is going to touch you and drive out anything in your body that does not belong. So today I'm going to jump right into a few passages of scripture. Uh, well, we'll see. I'm not sure. Let's. Uh, I'm at least going to dive into John chapter 2 here in verse 13, and then we'll just kind of see what happens here as the, as the Lord leads me <clears throat> through this passage. All right, verse 13 in John chapter 2, it says this, Now the Passover of the Jews was at hand, and Jesus went up to Jerusalem. And he found in the temple those who sold oxen, sheep, and doves, and the money changers doing business in the temple. When he had made a whip of cords, <clears throat> catch that, when he had made a whip of cords, he drove them out of the temple with the sheep, the oxen, and poured out the changers' money and overturned the tables. In verse 16, he said to those who sold the doves, take these things away. Do not make my father's house a house of merchandise. And then verse 17, then his disciples remembered that it is written, zeal for your house, for the Lord's house has eaten me up. Zeal for the house of the Lord has eaten me up. Speaking of Jesus there. Now, I'm going to turn over to Romans chapter 12, starting in, I'm just going to read verse 9. It says this, let love be without hypocrisy. Let love be without hypocrisy. And it says this, abhor or hate what is evil and cling to what is good. Abhor what is evil, hate what is evil and cling to what is good. Remember that, hate what is evil. We'll come back to that in just a second. And then, and um, 1 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 16, it says, do you not know that you are the temple of God and that the spirit of God dwells in you? If anyone defiles the temple of God, God will destroy him. For the temple of God is holy, which you are. And it's, I'm going to read verse 17 again. If anyone defiles the temple, God will destroy him. Now, Going back through all these passages, zeal for the house of the Lord. And then in Romans 12, abhor, hate what is evil. And then the other passage I read, the, how God hates the defilements of the temple. And God wants to dr drive out defilements in the temple. And as I read, the, our bodies are the temple of the Holy Ghost. And not only that, but those who are not saved and, and don't have Jesus living in them, their bodies were created for the purpose of having God dwell in their heart. Their bodies were made to be the temple of the Holy Ghost. They were created in the image of God. Now, Satan hates our bodies because of that. Now, what I want you to understand with all of these things in mind, if you're going to operate in the, in the ministry of health and healing, then you have to have this hatred, this, this, this coupling of the zeal and love for the house of the Lord, and this attitude of abhorring and hating the defilements that comes against people's bodies and to drive them out, just like Jesus took the time to make a whip and to drive out those people that were defiling the temple with things bringing into the temple that were not holy. The, the temple of God is holy. Our bodies are to be holy. And when there is defilement brought against our bodies, we have to have this attitude of displeasure, this attitude of abhorring the fact that there is oppression in our body or someone else's body, and it is an attack of the devil. And just like Jesus had zeal for the house of the Lord, we need to have zeal 
for health. We need to have zeal and passion and this attitude of displeasure and hatred towards the defilements that come against the body, that come as an oppression from the devil. I read this passage uh, in one of the uh, in one of the teachings that we did in Acts chapter ten, verse thirty eight, where Jesus was anointed of the Holy Ghost in power and went about doing good. Doing what good? Healing all who are oppressed of the devil. I want you to picture that verse along with the passage of Jesus making the whip and driving out those people who were uh, selling and, uh, and money changing in the temple. It is the exact same concept. Jesus anointed with power. You see that demonstrated with the whip and then going and driving them out, overturning their tables. Ladies and gentlemen, it, the zeal for the healing ministry is what it takes and hatred and abhorring the oppressions of the devil. If you can't do these two things with great force, you're going to struggle in seeing the, the, the miracles of healing in people's bodies because it takes zeal. It takes passion to see people delivered from their oppressions. It takes a passion for the holy things of God and a clinging to those things and a driving out of anything that would come against that holy temple and our bodies that God created in his image. So right there where you are today, I want you to know that if there has come against your body any sickness, the slightest pain in your body, or if you have been giving a, given a death sentence, if you have been given a death sentence and you are at the final stage of your life, maybe you have been given no hope, or maybe that you have been, you've lived with something for decades and you have just become used to it. I want you to know you may have come used to your oppression, but I am never okay or used to an oppression. Every time I see it, it, uh, it, 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 it gives me a, a great hatred for the devil, a great hatred for, for the thing that he has brought against their body. I don't agree with it ever, and I come against it now in the name of Jesus. Whatever, whatever has come against your body, whatever weakness, if you have been crippled in your body, if you have been given a death sentence today in the authority of the name of Jesus Christ, I crush that thing and I drive it out. I bind up its power and I command it to leave in the name of Jesus. I'm telling you today that whatever has come against your body, I'm telling you that Jesus took the stripes and paid the price for it and that you should not live with it another day longer. As I read a couple past uh, uh, in one of the lessons before, should this daughter of Abraham who has been bound by Satan for these many years, should she be bound a another day. No, because Jesus paid for the price already. Hallelujah. 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 What the devil meant for evil. I thank you, Lord, right now by your mighty head. You turn it around for your good by not some mystical, um, spiritual explanation, but by your mighty hand. Just as you drove those people out of the temple, I drive that oppression from their body out of their body in Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, you have to have a zeal for these things if you want to see God move, if you want to see the mighty hand of God, because it's faith, it's a passion, it's zeal for these things that releases God's hand. It releases God's heart. He, he can't resist the moving of his spirit when his people, when his children move with passion. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Right there where you are, I just want you to just lift your hands and say, thank you, Jesus, for paying already for my sickness, already paying for my disease. It is no longer mine. You took it from me. Therefore, I am the healed of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It is driven out by the love that Jesus has for you. 39 stripes on his back. You don't have to take another day of pain in your body. You don't have to take another day. Get a hold of the goodness of God and hate these oppressions that come from the devil. It is a curse that has been destroyed by Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Man, I'm stirred up today. I break and bind off every every power and every stronghold that has been in your body. You have, there's people watching this. You've lived with stuff for too long. 
Hallelujah. I set that thing up on the tee and I knock it out. I knock it out of the park, never to be seen again, ever again, in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. It is finished. It is finished. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord with me. Say, God bless, God bless, God bless me. I am the healed of the Lord. <laughs> Hallelujah. Well, I'll see you very soon. Say it again one more time. I am the healed of the Lord. Praise the Lord. I'll see you very soon.